Good morning. It's February 19th, 2014, and I'll keep this as brief as possible. This is my snow removal tool that I built here a couple weeks ago, and to date I've used this on seven different roofs, and it's it just worked extremely well. But on one roof that I was working on, there were structure around the, the eaves where trying to use the pellet bag slide system just didn't work and it kept getting hung up on uh, an arbor type structure. So what I wound up doing was I made a one-way uh, flapper or whatever you want to call it. So as you push this into the snow, or I can reverse it and pull it into the snow, it just goes one way. So as in this case here, it's set up for the push. I push it into the snow, it, the cutting bar goes in and it pushes up and lets the, pa the snow pass through. And this will ride on the top of the snow. So you start to pull on the uh, pole and it bites into the snow comes down and hits, it can't go any further, and you just pull the block off the roof. And like I say, I've used this on a couple places and it works really well. So hopefully, I'll show you a clip here at the end of my little uh, DIY here. If you watch closely on the roof I'm cleaning uh, using this uh, attachment, uh, you'll see these bars are not installed at that point. And what happened was the snow was dense enough where it wanted to, to bend this uh, uh, galvanized fencing right here. And so I added these bars and, and that solved that problem. And again, if I want to go back to the slide, I just take that pin, pull a pin out, move that axle out and it's out. And I can go back to the slide or reverse it to the other side and have at it again. So that's it. Like I said, just a brief clip of me cleaning off a uh, small outbuilding and hopefully we won't have to talk about snow anymore. That's it. Enjoy. It only took, geez, I don't know, three minutes to do that roof. Worked pretty good. I guess that's it. Hopefully, we'll be done with the snow saga here pretty soon. Hope you're all doing well. Take care.